Hi there, welcome back. It's Priestess and Medium Roslyn. I am ready to start the reading for you, and I just want to make you aware that uh, there is a special right now. It's an $11 uh, one question, one answer email, and it's uh, usually answered within an hour. Uh, I do look forward to sharing information with you, um, doing uh, your guidance and, you know, investigating into the things that you have concerns about. You are part of the soul family. I always welcome you with no judgment. Uh, I've been helping people with my gifts since childhood and it wasn't always an easy road, but I can definitely let you know that things do change and things can get better in your life. Uh, you can go to my website if you're interested in any products or services, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Gemini, it's time for your reading. Let's find out what's going on for you and what you need to know right now, Gemini. Uh, I hope you're doing well and blessed and safe. I hope that you can focus on uh, maybe a couple questions and maybe they will get answered in this reading. Of course, it's not a personal private reading, but it is good to spend time with you and for me to share with you again, Gemini, in the highest good. Thank you for being part of the soul family. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Let's focus on your energy, Gemini. I cannot believe it is almost June. It's almost June. It's really your time of the year, Gemini. Let's find out what's going on for you and what you need to know. Mother and Father God in the highest good. Let us know here what Gemini needs to know right now at this time. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini? Okay. All right, Gemini, let's find out what's going on. Okay, uh, Gemini. So what I'm seeing here is that there is literally someone who wants to have this brand new beginning with you. This could be a very passionate entanglement, Gemini, with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. One of these people could definitely be uh, also very emotional. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I'm seeing the water element here. I'm seeing a brand new beginning and someone is definitely wanting to hold on. They want to cling to this. They don't want to let go. They want to protect what they have with you or you with them because it's not a private read. So this could be you that wants to hold on and protect this energy. There is someone coming into the relationship or coming between you and this person. But this person is very, very passionate or you're the one who's very passionate and you're trying to block out this third party, okay? I can definitely see this. If this is not a third party, Gemini, what it is is someone who still is entangled in uh, messages, texts, phone calls. Maybe this person shows up sometimes. This person is not fully complete with this other entanglement here. Okay, this seems to be something that's happening now because with us experiencing so many different changes in our social life and in our home life, you know, we're around people more so than what we were three months ago. So it's creating different energy and different entanglements with the one you love, Gemini, and with the one who loves you and the one who is left, you know, not really knowing their place, not really knowing how much to share, how much to connect. So often what I'm seeing right now with the readings that are coming up in the past couple of days is that there is more than two people involved here, more than two energies. Even if it's leftover residual kind of energy, it's still just enough to make things confusing or to cause conflict there, Gemini. I also feel like somehow there is part of your energy, Gemini, that is stuck, okay? I'm really getting that. Somehow part of your energy is stuck. It's not flowing freely as it should be. Let's look into this more. 
Yeah, so what is happening here? There's several elements playing out, Gemini, okay? I'm hearing spirits say that someone ghosted you, okay? So this could be you or the other person. But I'm also seeing that someone feels that they were not given justice. They may want to separate they may want to uh, be justified for what was done against them in love because it's the love here that was refused and it was big, big love. It was not something small. It was not petty. This is enough for you to feel that maybe you can't have this relationship with the person because it's so much love that was turned away that the other person feels slighted. They feel like someone was taken from them or that they weren't given a fair and equal chance in this love. So this could definitely be you, Gemini, because I see the air element here. She's holding a sword with justice. Okay, so I'm also seeing the Empress. This could very well be a Libra that you're involved with, another air sign that is coming in to make a decision. This is also the energy of uh, so much emotion that you feel you have to make a decision and it's very emotional, but you want to make sure that you're going to be okay and that you're justified. I'm also seeing the energy here, not only of Libra very strongly, Gemini, but the energy of a mother, the energy of someone who has a small child or someone who may have had a relationship broken up like an actual marriage or a common law or something along that where where these two have been together for a very long time. So something happened and it created major conflict, Gemini. Um, yeah, I'm still seeing the Libra energy very heavy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm seeing where the two of you did begin. Okay, the two of you began very passionately. I can see that. And we also have the emperor here, the fire sign energy, the wands energy. But someone is being more cold and aloof. They're trying to make decisions based on the future of what to do with this emotion that's left over here. Because they feel that they were done wrong or mistreated here. There is definitely the element of multiple people involved. But it's not something that is free-flowing where everyone is able to see in their own thoughts and mind where their place is, okay? So let's say, okay, Gemini, let's just say, let's say that you're the side chick, okay? Um, and you know that you're seeing someone on the side, okay? But in this energy, let's say you are overstepping that or the other person is overstepping that, creating a lot of drama, social media drama, long distance drama, even if you're not near the two people who are together or living together. Let's say that there's text messages coming in. There is tower moments where everything feels crazy and out of control. That's what I'm getting here. I'm also getting that there are perceptions that are completely wrong in your thought process or this other person's thought process. There's fighting, multiple people, and it feels like it's gone off the rails. It feels like it's wrong and the perception is off. We had the moon here. It's a lot of energy of, yeah, someone being completely left out, someone lurking here, the hermit, the two of cups, and the eight. Okay, so what you may like here, this is what I'm getting that you would really like to happen, Gemini. And it could be the other person, as I said. Um, this is you feeling left out, someone lurking in the background, but you feel somehow that you want this compatibility with this person because it, it made you feel like it was a soulmate situation, a two of cups, a twin flame situation. You want a brand new beginning here. So at least one of you, at least one of you wants a brand new beginning, but there's been all of these disturbances that are on a soul level. And I don't know if the two of you can just put this back together and keep going and make this brand new beginning here. Let's see here. Is there a brand new beginning? Is there a brand new beginning? Spirit is saying there's so much fighting. That's what's keeping the brand new beginning away. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, it's like the two of you, you've created this energy where you need your energy cleared, you need your energy balanced. It's like you need chakra clearing, you need bath rituals, because it's a lot that's going on that has put your spirituality and your higher thoughts, they're like in shock. <laughs> There's no balance here. Let's see. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here very clearly, Gemini, is you have definitely decided and you don't want to give up on this brand new beginning between you and this person without the fights, without this third person in the background. You have decided and you're not letting go, okay? You're not letting go. I'm also seeing the element of this person, uh, they may rely on you for money, for stability. Um, they may tell you that they have singled you out and chosen you. You may tell them that you have chosen them. You don't want to let go. You want to build this firm foundation with them. Yeah, but the energy, I'm seeing it. The energy is kind of rocky here, okay? Energy is, is kind of rocky. Yeah, especially when I see the death card here, um, the King of Cups in reverse, a lot of emotional, over-emotional stuff going on that's building up toxic energy. And then we have the death card here. So this could be someone in the background that they want this relationship to end. You know, they really want it to end. This could be major, major changes where the relationship does not survive. It could be someone who's very toxic in this deck. That's really what that's about. Some of the cups, there's still confusion. There's confusion. Wow. Okay, Gemini, you've got a lot of rocky energy going on. This is very similar to the energy of, uh, some of it is very similar to the energy of Taurus's uh, reading also. Okay. So this is what you needed to know. Okay, so it's a lot to digest. You all can let me know what's going on in the comments. If you'd like a personal private read, you can reach out to me, okay? Have a blessed day. Bye-bye, Gemini.